Hey, do you want to go on a trip? Yeah, and what? let's go to Chuck E. Cheese and go to Daddy Day. You want to go to Chuck E. Cheese? Yeah, and Daddy Day. Wait, wait, Day. wait, look at me. Do you want to go to Hawaii or to Chuck E. Cheese? Chuck E. Cheese. Chuck E. Cheese? Yeah, and to the Daddy Day. Why do you want to go to Chuck E. Cheese? All of them. All of them? Yeah. And play the games? Yeah. Which one? Daddy Day and Chuck E. Cheese. Which one? Chuck E. Cheese. Okay, Dorothy, can you tell me three countries that you've been to? Disneyland. Disneyland? Bali. Bali? Not Chuck E. Cheese. You've never been to Chuck E. Cheese? <laughs> Where else have you been? Thailand. Thailand? Good job. Okay, and which country is your favorite? Disneyland, Chuck E. Cheese, and the Dinosaur Museum. Those are your favorite countries. Yeah, just those ones. Alright. And Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> okay, ready? Okay. Dorothy. <laughs> no, look at me. Look at me. <laughs> Where are we? Chuck E. Cheese. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Let's go. next to the cop. <laughs> My favorite part about being back in the U.S. was having friends come visit us so frequently. Who came to visit us during our stop in Portland? Go. We had Brennan G. crew and family. We had Carly, Danny, and Rocky. We had Shelly, Lindsay, Rowan, Blair, Parker, Hallie. We had Jim Mon and Jessica Mon. We had Donna Mon and Jim Mon. We had Bobby Mon and Kenji and Alyssa. Lots of friends. And then we made some new friends. Talk about any new friends we made here. We made some new friends. Man, people in Portland are so, so sweet. Who is? 
Okay. <laughs> Yay, Dorothy! Alright, open them up. What's inside? Popo. Popo. <laughs> Cashew. What's inside? An almond. An almond. A <gasps> Guys, that's fun, exciting, and healthy. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Ew. Ew. Ready? Okay. One, no, two, three. To. Oh, you have a question? Who lost their tooth? Me. Uh, not yet. Yeah, I did. Look. Oh my goodness. We got Catboy, Owlette, Gecko. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three, go. One, two, three, Cannonball. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Jessica, what can you tell us about the Oregon farmers markets? Oh. So the farmer's market was Jessica's heaven and very cute side note, Dorothy sold lemonade with her new friends. Oh, yeah. Cutest thing ever. <gasps> Dorothy, hmm? what kind of animal is that? A honey bunger. Look at me. What kind of animal is that? A honey bunger. A honey bunger? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Hey Dorothy, look at this tiny spoon. Oh, ah. You want to eat it? Yeah. Okay. Alright, go for it. Be careful. Yeah. Uh, Dorothy? Mm -hmm. What is it? Apple juice. Where? There. Are you gonna go with the big kids or the little kids? Little kids. But you're a big kid. But I know no kids. Do you want to grow up? Go down, go down. Can I, can I give you a tickle? Where are we gonna put my hands? What'd you say? Not, not, where are we gonna put my hands? You can put your hands anywhere, just not in your pants. Oh. Now, spin jump kick. Yeah. Okay, go.
What did you find? I found Curry. Oh, is that your baby? Yeah. What's your baby's name? Curry. Curry? Why did you name it Curry? Because I like what? Name it Curry. Oh, where did you find the name Curry? I found it next to the stairs. <laughs> you found the name Curry next to the stairs? Yeah. Is it a boy or a girl? It's a girl. Oh. Is it a nice girl or a sweetie girl? A sweetie girl. Welcome to Daddy and Donnie's Cooking Corner. Today we're making protein, protein shakes. shakes. Show your muscles. Calories. Can I have them? Have oh, you want to have one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Here you go. Oh, yeah, just get in there. Just get one. Oh, a berry? I thought you meant a spinach leaf. You got me all sorts of excited. Okay, after your berry, eat this. Okay? One scoop of this goodness, Dorothy? Huh? Say bye. 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 How's that spinach? Is it yummy? So, this might be my favorite stuff that goes in here. It's Hoobie Boobie! It's Hoobie Boobie! <laughs> Oh no, is this Hobie Bobby? Yes, this is Hobie Bobby! <laughs> hey, this is Hobie Bobby! <laughs> you are it's weird! Hobie Bobby. It's Hobie Bobby! <laughs> it's Hobie Bobby! <laughs> <laughs> it's Hobie Bobby! <laughs> it's Hobie Bobby! Knew it! It's Hobie Bobby! Knew it! Alright, so Beaverton, Oregon is the home of Nike. So we love Nike. If Nike and Manila were falling a cliff, would you? <laughs> okay, before we got to Oregon, I reached out to a few of my contacts and friends over at Nike to see if I could come and apply for a job. They didn't take me seriously for the job, even though I was dead serious. Uh, so I just settled for a few meetings and hanging out over there on Nike campus. First one was getting to play soccer with the Nike soccer team on Nike campus wearing only Nike equipment. I felt like I was in a Nike commercial and it was awesome. It was a dream come true. So thank you to my buddy Josh for the invite and hooking it up. I got to play soccer over there a few times. The second important meeting I had over at Nike was when I went running with the director of Nike Running. I was actually terrified. When I hit up the director of Nike Running and he invites me for a meeting but says, how about we go for a run? I called Jess from the parking lot and I was like, I just looked up this guy on the Nike Running app to see his latest runs and he's clocking in at like 10 miles, 12 miles. 16 miles a run. I don't know how far he's gonna stretch me, but I was terrified. Anyways, luckily we just had a nice like three mile run, nothing too crazy. He was super chatty during it. In between breaths, I was just giving him one word answers. Thank you, Michael, for the cool meeting. Great run, so much fun to see Nike campus. <gasps> Zootopia? So that was Oregon for us. This was our first time here, but we absolutely loved it. What were your three favorite things about Oregon? Um, first of all, the people. I was so, so impressed with the people. Um, second of all, just the health and fitness and outdoorsiness of the whole state. And then three, just the beauty. It's beautiful. Even when it's raining, it's beautiful. So that would be like my favorite thing as well because Portland has done such a good job at conserving and preserving their land. Just how beautiful it is, how the city is very compact so that if you are in downtown Portland, you can drive like 15, maybe 30 minutes and all of a sudden you are just in the thick of forest or farmland and country land and it's gorgeous and fresh. Thank you, Portland. We love you. We'll be back. 
see you later. Idaho, we're coming for you.